Hello everyone, happy Tuesday, happy So What Day, and happy Webcast Day. Uh, we have a lot going on today in sulky land, and uh, we're starting here with Facebook Live. In a couple of short hours, we will be going live with Zandra Shaw of the Embroider Shop. That will be on our education platform at sewingonline.sulky.com. You will find the link to register for today's webcast in the description of today's post here on Facebook. So you can be sure to, um, there's still time to register for our event at two o'clock. So um, that's two o'clock Eastern time. So make sure to account for whatever time zone you happen to be in. So I'm so glad that you're all joining us this morning. Um, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you're here. Um, Hi, Jenny. Good to see you. All right, before we uh, get started on um, all of the bee-themed projects that I'm going to bring to you today, um, I want to go through a few new items at sulky.com because I got a box in the mail and I thought it would be fun for us to do a little unboxing so you can see all of the new stuff at sulky.com and when you are purchasing your webcast kit for today's event at 2 p.m. Eastern time, um, you might want to add some of these to your cart so that you can get to that free shipping threshold. So here are a number of things that we have either restocked or gotten in new at sulky.com and I have some other exciting things in this box. I'm, I'm so lucky, I know. So. You could see my cute little so what sign. This comes in a hot pink or a teal blue, and you can have a so what sign in your sewing room if you so desire. I also got this new sign that just came in, just so happy. This would be so cute on your sewing room door or your crafty space. So we have a number of these really cute wooden signs. They have different sayings on them. One of them says, come sew with me, which I have on the door of my sewing studio. And they're just so cute. You cannot get them anywhere but sulky.com. Woo, all right. So um, also for today's webcast, I have a little station set up so that I can kind of go through the project um, as Xander is teaching it. Now, it is not meant to be a sew along, so you certainly do not have to sew along with Xandra. While you're watching the webcast, um, you can just kind of absorb the tutorial and the video will be available through the event page for all time. So you can refer back to it when your kit arrives or when you decide to go through the project. So don't feel like you have to go through it um, like a sew along. It might be going a little bit too fast for that today. But the reason I mention that is I have set up a pressing station next to my sewing machine. So right now I have chosen some cute bee themed fabrics and I'm gonna show you those in just a moment. I also have my new little Oliso iron, which these are available at sulky.com. I have the violet color. There's also a pink and a yellow and a teal, so you can get the color that you enjoy the most. But I absolutely love this. It's a high quality iron, and it's just a mini project iron. It's great for appliques in the hoop, which is what we're going to be doing today. I have never built an applique design in the hoop using fusible web, but it actually creates really nice, crisp, clean edges of raw edge applique. And you can go from your hoop, remove your hoop from your machine, put it on your wool pressing mat if you happen to have one of those. Or if you don't, they're at sulky.com, these particular ones that I enjoy. You can move your hoop from your machine easily over to your wool pressing mat and then use your handy dandy little mini iron to press your applique pieces in place. Now, Zandra is going to go through the entire tutorial for that this afternoon, 2 p.m. Eastern time. <laughs> but I wanted to share with you that I have a little pressing station going on because what also came in my shipment is this little sewing machine themed 
trivet. Now you could get this for your kitchen, of course, but it also makes a great addition if you are setting up a little pressing station next to your sewing machine, you can use this underneath your mini iron and kind of keep your surface safe, right? Plus, you know, it has this vintage sewing machine motif on it, which is super cute. So that's what I immediately thought of when I saw that in my box. Also, along with the trivet, we've got these great sewing themed coasters, this little coaster set. And I mean, how cute is this ribbon that it comes with? It's all about the packaging. But they have little scissors, thread, um, needles, little sewing machine um, themes on them. So this is a great little gift idea for a sewing friend. And then I love these. To go along with that little vintage sewing theme, we've got a vintage uh, simplicity pattern um, artwork on this little sketch notepad. So you can see there are four different um, sort of styles of pages and they all feature these vintage pattern motifs. So this also makes a great gift or grab it for yourself. You can write notes for your projects in here um, and it's just a great little handy dandy thing for your sewing area. Why does my phone go off when I have it on do not disturb me please? I'll never understand it. Okay. <laughs> So we also have some great new notions at sulky.com. And one of them I wanted to mention because this came in really handy when I was working my way through the Dini pouch. The Dini pouch is our first summer sewing session of the season. Say that five times fast. And um, uh, I, I really found these Clover Wonder Clips to be very handy. Now I have um, a little 10 pack of the standard uh, Wonder Clips, this, this size, which is great for quilt binding. But what we now have are these, this pack of 50, and they are much smaller. See how they're much, they're a little bit um, narrower than the standard size. And I needed basically this entire pack when I was doing my Dini pouch. Um, because you don't want to pin through leather, faux leather, cork, things like that. And those are the types of materials that we use for the Dini pouch project. So 50 pack Clover Wonder Pins, love it. Also a really great tool when you're working with things like faux leather and cork is a little seam roller. If you have tried to kind of use your hands to press open seams and get them nice and flat when you're working with heavier weight fabrics, this little seam roller does a great job of that for fabrics that you cannot iron, um, that you can't get hot, and that um, you can't really press nicely just using your fingers. This little seam roll is like oh, super handy. So that is also new at sulky.com. Let's see, we've also got some wonder pins, which are really great for quilt projects. These kind of go in your quilt layers and then snap together. They're much easier to use than a safety pin or even like a, a specialty quilting safety pin that is kind of curved. These are kind of curved, but they snap shut. So super easy to use, really cool little tool. And then we've got some various pins and things like that that you can add to your cart to kind of get to that free shipping threshold, which I know we all love because nobody likes to pay for shipping, especially now when shipping has just become so darn expensive. Am I right? All right. So I'm loving all of the comments. Nyla says she started her Dini pouch and, I'm lo and is loving it so far. I'm so happy to hear the feedback. This is a brand new education offering we have at our platform, sewingonline.sulky.com. When you purchase the session, you get tons of video lessons. You get additional um, posts that we're calling them throughout the lessons to give you lots more information on the techniques that are covered. Um, it's a very, very thorough class. 
Um, and this one is with Sally Tomato, our good friends at Sally Tomato. So you will learn from the pattern designer herself. There is no better way to learn about a pattern or a project than from the person who designed it, right? Um, also, we have a community that is attached to this sewing session, so you can interact with other people who are also working their way through the project. And it's very active right now. There are a lot of people who are going in there, posting pictures, getting help from each other. I'm in there all the time, chit-chatting with everyone and making sure that everyone's having the great, greatest experience. All right, so glad to hear that you started it and are liking that course. All right, Patty's loving the coasters and Trivet. And yes, Sharon, love the Wonder Clips. I mean, I honestly don't think that I use another notion as often as I use Wonder Clips, with exception to probably my sulky, sticky plus slitting pen. <laughs> I think I've talked about this on every single So What since I discovered it. Um, it is just the greatest tool for working with Sulky Sticky Plus, but I digress. All right. Jenny is watching from work. Nice. Love it. Take a little break and join us for your lunch hour or um, just, you know, while you're working as well. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about what we're talking about today. And today's giveaway for today's So What, each So What we do a little giveaway. Um, I will mention I forgot to pick a winner for Friday's So What. We did a special Friday edition of So What last week, and um, our, our little gift was our neon polydeco thread assortment, and I have not picked a winner for that one yet. So if you didn't watch on Friday, be sure to go um, after today's live feed head on over to the Sulky Facebook page if you're not there already, if you're not watching from there, and you can watch Fridays and still um, get in for that uh, giveaway. But all you have to do is like, share, comment on today's post, give me those emojis, thumbs up, and then you are eligible to receive today's gifty. I will pick one winner at random and notify you through Facebook Messenger that you have won. So be on the lookout for um, a random request from Ellen March, and then you are probably the winner. But here is the give giveaway for today. It is our summer six-pack sampler of Sulky Poly Sparkle. Poly Sparkle is our 30-weight metallic thread. It's a polyester thread with metallic flex running through it. It's the easiest metallic thread you will ever sew because it acts just like our Poly Deco thread. So like I said, it's a 30 weight thread. We will be using it in today's webcast with Xandra and I'll show you what it looks like stitched out and I have some close-ups of those embroideries so you can see just how pretty it is. But this is our summer sampler. So it has a lot of really pretty colors for summer. It's valued at $24.99. It's available as a um, six pack for a special price um, at sulky.com. So you can grab one up and um, do tons of summery metallic embroideries. And, you know, decorative stitching, top stitching, it's great for quilting as well. All right, so that's today's gifty. And let's move into our bee-themed projects. You know, I, I subscribe to so many machine embroidery websites because I love to see what's new, what is trending, um, the different ways that people put embroideries together. Um, I ju it just gives me so much inspiration for projects to create for you as well as for me and my family. So what I have been noticing, and it's really funny because we concepted this webcast with Xandra, I wanna say probably six months ago or maybe even longer. And we thought, you know, let's do hexagons in the hoop because cutting out all of those little hexagons when you are creating a quilt design, um, even if you're doing English paper piecing, that type of thing, it can get very tedious. Um, so creating hexagon designs in the hoop of your embroidery machine 
what can be easier than that, right? We're basically doing in the hoop applique in hexagon designs. So there is a design that is um, that features these seven hexagons, just as you see it on this pillow. Um, and there is a single hexagon design you can use to build your own type of hexagon patterns on the hoop or on the, your machine embroidery screen. You can also use software to build out different designs as well. So that's what we will be learning this afternoon at two o'clock. Be sure to register. It's completely free to register. Here is that single hexagon design that you can use to build your own hexi patterns. Um, and this design collection comes with purchase of the kit for today's webcast. So if you grab up the kit at a crazy price of $29.99, that price is good until midnight tonight. So be sure to grab up one of those kits. I mean, the design collection alone is valued at $20. So for $29.99, you're getting the design collection plus a ton of sulky product, including all the beautiful threads that Xander used to build this collection. All right, so I'm gonna show, show you all the designs in this collection. It comes in, each design comes in two sizes, so you can use multiple hoops. If you only have a small four by four hoop, you can use this collection. If you have a five by seven or larger, you can use this collection. Now, I will say, if you use that big design that was showcased on that pillow I just showed, you will need a larger hoop, at least a, I believe it's six by 10. Um, it might be a little bit larger than that. I apologize. You'll learn it at the webcast today. Um, so the hoop sizes are also, I believe, in the description for the kit to make sure that you have the proper hoop size. But if you only have a four by four, you can still build out your own hexi design because you will get this little guy that you can arrange on your machine screen. And then you can embellish with some of the other designs that are in the collection. So there are a couple of different phrases. Be kind is one of them. Here is the other um, hexi design that's already created for you with the B on top. Meant to be is another cute little saying that Xander included. And then there's also a single B. So if you're creating your own hexi design using this guy, you can add a B to it um, where desired. Okay, does that make sense? All right. So let's get rid of these guys. This is just a sampling of the embroidery collection that you get with purchase of the kit. Now, as always, a lot of people say, can I just get the embroidery collection? Well, Xander created the collection specifically for today's webcast. It is only available with purchase of the kit, and that's why the kit is at such a great price so that uh, we wanted to make sure it was very easily accessible for most folks. All right, so here is another picture of that really cute pillow. Now, with today's webcast, Xander will be giving you a ton of inspiration for projects you can create using this design collection. So she will go over the whole technique of in the hoop applique. And I wanted to mention as well, this also comes with the kit. We are launching a brand new fusible web product. Sulky, the makers of the best stabilizer on the market, has finally come out with a fusible web as well. It is called Perfect Applique, and it is not even available to the public yet, okay? So with purchase of today's video cast, or excuse me, webcast kit, you will get a sample of the Sulky Perfect Applique. So you can try it with some of your um, hexi in the hoop designs. Isn't that awesome? So Sulky is very much um, fueled by your comments and feedback. So we thought we would give you a sample of the perfect applique product. You all can let us know how you like it. We have been testing it um, internally. I have used it. It's a great fusible web. It's very lightweight, so it doesn't add um, any bulkiness to your finished project. Um, it's just a very, very nice product and just as you would expect with Sulky Stabilizer and Thread, it is of the best quality and has gone through a lot of 
um, testing, and all kinds of things. We have sent it to a couple of designers that we work with so that they could also test it out. And I'm really excited for you all to get a sample in your kit. So, Sulky Perfect Applique. Yay! So exciting. All right. Here is a great little hand towel idea uh, that you can use for your design. And this actually was created using all brand new fabrics. You don't have to work with an existing towel. You can create your own little hand towel using great high quality fabrics um, to make a really durable, nice high quality towel. So this is just, uh, I wanted to show you kind of a close up of you can either trim an existing towel, add some fabric that you're also incorporating into your hexi design, and kind of you know bring all, all of that together um, using your own fabrics. So great little idea for the towel. And here is a close-up showing that lovely poly sparkle thread. So um, that gold thread is what is going to come with the kit. You will also get the black for the bee, you will get um, a teal color um, that I showcased on the meant to be and the bee happy um, lettering designs. So I just wanted to show you that great effect that you can get with this poly sparkle metallic thread. Now, like I said, it is the easiest thread, uh, easiest metallic thread to sew. You don't need to make many machine adjustments. You do, however, need a little bit larger needle. Since it is a 30 weight thread and it has that metallic kind of texture to it, you need to use a 9014 needle. So a top stitch needle works great or a 9014 embroidery needle, which is what comes with the kit as well. So be sure when you get to that color stop for the metallic portions of the design to swap out your needle. You can also slow down your machine speed ever so slightly or even by half when you're doing the metallic portions of the design. Now, this design collection was specifically digitized with the poly sparkle in mind for those portions of the design. So that's really special um, and, you know, not many designs are digitized for 30 weight thread. Um, so you would have to make some adjustments based on um, what thread weight the design you choose is digitized for. In this case, that thread was already in mind, so it stitches out beautifully. All right, Chris says, love the bee designs, metallic thread too. Oh, and she's already got the larger needles, so you're ready to go. Okay. So those are, let's see, I guess I have another photo, oh no, that's still the same picture I just showed you. That is an overview of what we will be learning at 2 p.m. today. Again, you can register for free at sewingonline.sulky.com. If you already have an account at the Sulky Education site, just add this one to your library. Um, Zandra also has a really special free lace design pack um, or lace design for you if you register for today's webinar. So, um, yeah, sign up, get the freebies, join us today, this afternoon. It's going to be a great time. So I also wanted to go through a couple of other really cute bee themed projects that I found, honestly, just surf in the internet. Is that still what they say? Surf in the internet? Or does that really tell you how old I am? <laughs> All right. Oh, I also have all of my supplies ready to go next to my pressing station for today. And isn't this thimble really cute? You can get this at sulky.com too. It's a cute little rose gold color, but I have this right beside all of my things with the tools that I will need for the project at hand. So I'm trying to get better at being organized because honestly, I've got like six different projects going at once plus everything that I need to show you for all of the demos that I do on So What. So it gets to be kind of a bear. I mean, I I'm just surrounded by different projects. So I am finding I either I'll organize all of the tools I need for the project I am sewing currently, 
And then for the in progress ones, I have little zipper pouches that have the things that I need for those. And of course, sometimes I need to swap out and change things, but um, I find having like the, the tools I use most often, I have multiples of those so that I can have different pouches, different sort of stations set up, and I can go back and forth from each thing, each project, without you know losing things or making too much of a crazy mess. So I'm trying. We can only try. If you have organizational tips, please put them in the comments because I need them constantly. Um, and, you know, we can always do better. I can always do better. <laughs> All right. Nyla got that thimble for her supplies and love it. It's so cute, right? So I find, you know, if we have some little cute things surrounding us, then when we sit down to sew, we're happy. We look at our little cute little thimbles and our cute little signs, and we're just in the right mood to start or continue our projects. All right, so another really cute pattern I found when I was kind of looking for bee things, which, you know, again, we concepted this webcast at least six months ago, and all of a sudden, all of these bee the themed things are hitting, you know, even the runways. Um, people are wearing bee clothes. I mean, obviously, it's a theme for summer, um, but it's just. I'm just so happy that, you know, it's super popular and it's just great timing. So this is a really cute little free pattern. Now the pattern is for the cat. This is at Tilda Friends. And I forgot to link to this pattern. Um, it's a freebie on Tilda Friends site. I forgot to link to the pattern in the description of the post, but I'm going to add it after the fact and we will get it in the comments for you. Notice the quilt that the cat is sitting on. It's all little patchwork bees. Isn't that adorable? So you can grab the little cat kit from Tilda Friends and also available on uh, her site is this freebie little bee block pattern. There are some other, um, mo excuse me, motifs as well, but I just thought this bee block was so cute. You could add Xander's uh, machine embroidered bee to a quilt or a table runner made with these little bee blocks. Isn't that adorable? You could add your hexes in the hoop um, to maybe the border of a quilt that you uh, make using this freebie little design. So we will be sure to get this pattern. Um, like I said, it's a free download on Tilda Friends. It's tildasworld.com slash free hyphen patterns. So that's where you will find this little cutie. But I just thought it was a great way to um, continue the bee theme and bring in Xander's embroidery collection for something else to make as well. Now, here's another thing that I have actually had in my sewing queue for probably close to two years now. <laughs> I actually already have the pattern printed out onto Sulky Paper Solvy. Paper Solvy is the best product in the world for foundation paper piecing. And this is a cute little foundation paper pieced design. You could see how different it looks just by using some different fabrics. But this features these little bees um, around a hive and the little bees are actually hand embroidered. But I thought, hey, bring in Zandra's machine embroidered bee once you do the foundation paper piecing and you can add that little bee to the scene and either make this into a pillow or use one of our high quality wooden embroidery hoops. These are called our German wooden embroidery hoops. These, if you're gonna display something in a hoop, you need a high quality hoop. You don't want one of those splintery ones that you can get at the craft store. You wanna grab a high quality wooden hoop that will last, okay? These do not slip out of place. They don't warp. They are the best hoops. And once you try one, 
you will never go back to those little splintery ones, let me tell you. So if you're gonna display your work, whether it is a hexi in the hoop um, wall art, and you wanna hang this kind of like a wreath on the door for summer, that would be so cute. Or if you're creating something like this foundation piece, the happy design, this is called the Free Bees Patchwork Pattern, okay? And let's see, it is www.gathered.how. That's where you will find this freebie pattern. But like I mentioned, I have already printed it onto the Paper Solvy. Paper Solvy is super lightweight and it's water soluble. So once all of your piecing is complete, you can either leave this intact, especially if you're going to hang it in a hoop. You don't even really need to remove the stabilizer. You can add a little backing to it. Um, or if you are finishing it in the hoop, you can just cut a felt circle that fits the back of your hoop once your item is hooped and kind of glue it to the, um, back, the back of the hoop and conceal everything and it'll be a nice finished project that's hooped forever. Or you can um, wash it away after your patchwork and or embroidery is complete and there will be no trace of it. You don't have to go in there and see these tiny, tiny little pieces. Um, you don't have to go in there with tweezers and try to tear that away once your piecing is complete can simply wash it away and there is no trace of the stabilizer. So I have this ready to go and since I got so much fabric for my little hexi designs, now I wanted to mention in the kit for today's webcast we did not include fabric because you only need tiny little pieces and we thought everybody's probably got some bee themed fabric or some suitable fabric for the hexi appliques in their stash. So you can dive into your stash and grab these fabrics, or you can find these fabrics from Art Gallery on some different websites. You can search artgallery.com as well. That is where this really pretty bee-themed collection came from, and we will be talking about that in the webcast today. But I got a bunch of it. I have a half yard of everything that Xandra was using. I just got separately so that I can use the leftover fabrics for coordinating pieces, whether I'm making a pillow or a cute hand towel like I showed you, or I can create my cute little foundation paper pieced beehive using some of the coordinating prints as well. So I can have a little trio or a set of projects really easily just by grabbing up a little bit of extra fabric. But like I said, for the hexes, you really don't need much fabric for those appliques. And you can choose the fabric colorway that goes with your home decor. Or if you're gifting it, you can just really have fun and find some bee themed prints. Like I mentioned, I am seeing these everywhere. Um, bee themed fabrics just popping up all over the place. Um, I don't know if you all have ventured into the Spoonflower land, but if you go to Spoonflower and just search B, you will see so many great fabric prints pop up. And it, that's just a really fun way to go as well because you're supporting artists who have put their work up on Spoonflower and they might be an, just an independent person who uh, loves to sew or loves graphic design and they've created some really, really cool things over there. So, <laughs> love this. Found a little bee emoji. That's awesome. Chris says, I have some honeycomb fabric. Would look great on this. See, perfect. Now is a time to kind of dive into those fabric stashes and see what you have. Because again, if you have kept little five inch squares or little cutoffs from other projects, these in the hoop appliques and foundation paper piecing projects are perfect for those. So it's a really great way to use up your stash and use those small, small um, pieces that you might have hanging out in a bag or a box. So grab those and have lots of fun. 
I'm going to go in and see if we have any more questions to address today. And yay, another Ellen. I hardly ever meet other Ellens, so nice to meet you, Ellen. <laughs> Jackie has one of the 10 inch hoops and finds it to be wonderful. Um, yeah, I mean, there are all kinds of embroidery hoops. I want to show you a different one that I um, have in my stash. I keep it around, honestly, just to show people how great the wooden hoops are. Now, there was a time where these, I, I don't even know if they still make them, but this is a plastic hoop. And yes, it comes in a really cute yellow color. However, look at what happens to this hoop. Since it is plastic, it'll bend and distort if you don't hoop it properly. And your fabric really could get, uh, could stretch out of, like, it could stretch. <laughs> and when you're sewing, um, after you pop your work out of this, even doing handwork, um, you could have puckering and weird areas of the design that did not um, stitch properly because this was slightly curved or bent in some way. So while it's cute and it comes in a color and you can display it on the wall, um, you know, I just don't recommend a plastic hoop that can stretch and warp like that. These wooden hoops are just so, so nice and a great way to not only display finished pieces. I mean, even if you don't do hand work or cross stitch, this is a great way to display something that is foundation paper pieced or even an applique in the hoop project. And the great thing is you can then, if you don't glue a backing to it, you can then pop out that piece and swap it out for different holidays and different occasions. It's a great way to do, like I said, a sort of wreath for your front door and swap little messages out. Um, you know, if you have a birthday party at your house, you could do a little message for the birthday person or the party's here, put this on your front door. You know, it's just a really easy, versatile thing, an easy way to display an in the hoop project without having to, you know, finish an entire um, quilted wall hanging or table runner or something like that. Now, of course, you could do coordinating projects as well inside your house once people come in for the party. So all different options, but I just wanted to show you this plastic hoop and what it can do and what you don't want it to do. Um, and then of course, I'm sure you're all familiar with those splintery ones you get at the craft store. Honestly, for a couple more dollars, you're gonna get a high quality one from Sulky. So I highly recommend. All right, Joan just got herself the kit. Again, the webcast kit for two o'clock today is only $29.99. We also have some other great sales. Um, I'll just give you a sneak peek right now because I can. Um, we're going to have rayon thread, 30% off. Um, it's actually already 30% off in preparation for today's webcast. So you can, if you're missing any colors in your slimline containers, you can uh, grab those up at a really great price. We're also going to have, um, let's see, Cutaway Plus, I believe is what we used in the kit today. You know what? Let me just pull up the kit so we can take a look at what's included. Why didn't I do that already? Bear with me while I find it really quickly. Um, if you go to sulky.com to grab up your cute little notions and essentials, um, you will be able to find the Hexies in the Hoop kit. I also link to it directly in the description of today's post. If you are not finding the links, um, make sure to hit the little see more button and you'll be able to pull that up. And I linked to how to register for today's webcast as well. Oops, hold on a sec. Let me pull up the kit. And show you what's included. Oh my gosh. 
that's just another idea you can make. That's not the kit. <laughs> but isn't that cute? This is a really great idea for blanks too. Or if you have promotional tote bags and things like that, you could add a piece of fabric over like a company logo or something like that. And then put your hexes in the hoop design. You could see this is a totally customized one um, that Xander did in the hoop of the embroidery machine. So arranging those hexes in different ways. Um, but yeah, those promotional totes, I always keep them to use them as embroidery blanks. It's just a great way to sort of repurpose them. All right, here we go. Now I've got the right image. So here is what you'll get with the kit along with that embroidery collection that's valued at $20. So you get a one yard pack of Cutaway Plus, you get one, two, three, four, five spools of Sulky Thread, you get a pack of embroidery needles, which is an assortment pack. So that'll have two different sizes of needles. Um, one is the larger needle that you need for the poly sparkle embroidery. And then you'll also get the smaller size that you can use for the rayon thread that is part of the design. So all of this product, plus don't forget, you are getting a sample pack of the Sulky brand new fusible web, perfect applique. You get a little nine by 10 inch rectangle so that you can test it. And yes, I know it's only nine by 10, but um, this was before any of it was packaged up and ready to be on sale at sulky.com. So that's why you're getting a little sampling so you can test it out and let us know what you think. And um, I'm just so impressed that Sulky um, does that kind of thing. Uh, that gives you a product before it's even available for purchase. And honestly, we really want to hear your feedback about it. I think you'll really find that it'll it'll become your go-to fusible web. So, okay. Oh, what was the website for the Beehive design? Um, the one that I showed is the, the foundation paper pieced one is from gathered.how and it is also in the comments. Um, we've posted it in the comments and maybe you've already gotten a response there as well. Okay. Cindy is working on a bee themed project right now. I'm telling you, it is like the, the trending thing right now. So <laughs> Colleen says, your sewing room always looks so neat and organized. Mine looks like a tornado went through it. Well, let me just tell you, Colleen, you're only seeing this portion of my sewing room. If I really let you see what's going on, I mean, I, I, just, I just have stations. I have to create stations with different projects um, because it just gets out of control. Okay. Yes, Bonnie, so glad the Cutaway Plus comes with the kit. I only had Tearaway. So, fantastic. Okay, Paulette says, I have a few wooden hoops that are over 60 years old and still good. That's amazing, you know. Um, they just don't make things like they used to, right? Uh, <laughs> that's why I'm really an advocate if you do not have a really good strong hoop um, that's maybe an antique, then grab up these at sulky.com. They do come in three sizes. So you can get the small, medium, or large, or all three. And they just are, they're just, I, I, I can't say enough good things about them, so. Oh, and great idea from Jennifer. You can paint the wooden hoops. So if you really love the look of that yellow hoop um, and you want to use it as a display item, then just paint one of the really great wooden ones. That's a fantastic idea. Okay. Joan says, what does the plus mean? So we have a couple of stabilizers that have plus at the end of them. We have soft and sheer... No, that's extra, my bad. 
Um, <laughs> I was going to say we have a lot of those. Soft and shear extra, however, is different. The extra means that it's fusible. Um, so I'm going to dive in here. Cutaway plus. We're going to find out what that plus means. Great question. So, Patty, if you're watching, please tell us what does the plus mean? Um, because we do have plus, we also have extra. Um, and those are added to some of our stabilizer products. Um, so I'm thinking the plus means that it's permanent. Um, it's a permanent cutaway stabilizer. Xander likes to use this on the back of the embroideries when we are when we want stability over time. So for an applique embroidery project, um, the cutaway is just giving us extra stability. It's going to stay with the project um, over multiple uses, washings, and wearings. I promise you, I put my phone on do not disturb. I don't know what's happening. I apologize. All right, yes, we all have a lot of project totes. A lot of those, you know, promotional things or even grocery totes that have, you know, like an ugly logo on them. Put a, cover it with a piece of fabric, cover it with an applique in the hoop design, make it your own, use those up, don't throw them away, you know? That make a great gift as well. And you don't have to go um, making the entire tote from scratch, so. Anita would like to try the metallic poly thread. I think you guys will love poly sparkle if you haven't worked with it before. And again, today's giveaway for anybody who is commenting, liking, sharing, otherwise engaging with the post today, you are eligible to win today's gifty, which is the summer poly sparkle six pack assortment. So these great, great colors will take you through summer. So make sure you are liking, giving me those great emojis, sharing out the post today. Make sure you like the, the Sulky Facebook page as well. Some people um, are able to watch because it's been shared or something like that, um, and they haven't actually liked the Sulky page. If you haven't liked the page, I won't be able to get in touch with you on Messenger to let you know that you've won. So I have had the circumstance where a random uh, winner was generated and they hadn't liked the sulky page. So there was no way for me to get in touch with them. So be sure and like the, the physical page as well as liking this post. Um, and then um, I will be able to get in touch with you if you are the winner. So, um, and then you'll be able to try the poly sparkle. Make sure you get those 9014 needles, top stitch or embroidery. Um, I find work the best with that thread, but it's really going to depend on the technique and the fabric that you're using. Um, but make sure the size corresponds with the weight of thread. So the 9014 for the 30 weight. Okay. Alexis says, I have a baby lock accomplish, which has a 9014 industrial needle. Will that work for this project? Um, I don't have experience with that myself. But I think that if you have the right size needle, and that's the needle that is recommended by your machine brand, then I don't see why it wouldn't be suitable for this project. Um, you know, do a test stitch out just to make sure that it's working well with the threads and the fabric that you have chosen. So, but honestly, I think it will work fine. Okay. Love your kits. Yes. I love having a kit and being able to open it and say, these are the threads that I need according to the machine embroidery designs. These are the needles that I need to use for this thread. And here's the stabilizer that I need. Plus you get all of those machine embroidery designs included with purchase of the kit. So it's a fantastic, and you're saving tons of money. If you went and bought all of those threads, the stabilizer, the $20 machine embroidery collection, I mean, you're looking at at least 49 bucks. So you're saving $20 by getting the kit on sale today. Again, that is only good until midnight tonight, um, that special price. So 
Sharon wants to know, is there a Poly Sparkle Embroidery Thread Sample Pack or Starter Pack? So we have a lot of six packs. We have a winter, spring, summer, fall. We have some other six packs that are curated for um, different holidays. Uh, so we have like a Halloween one. We have a 10 pack ultimate Halloween Poly Sparkle because Poly Sparkle is so cool for Halloween projects and even for costumes and things like that. We also have a Christmas one. So there are a number of different assortments for the Poly Sparkle. In, when you go to sulky.com, go to the Poly Sparkle assortments and collections, and you'll see tons there. So you can kind of just pick and choose a little sampler pack for um, whatever you know projects you have in your sewing queue. Okay. Oh, thank you, Pat, for bringing this up. The thread we received does not match when you choose the Sulky thread in the program. So sometimes based on the machine format that you're using, the threads that come up on your machine may not match the thread color sequence chart, okay? When you get your kit and you refer to Xandra's collection, it will come with a PDF color sequence chart. Always, always go by the color sequence chart rather than what's coming up on your machine screen. A lot of the times, um, new formats for machine for embroidery machines or newer models that come out will not correspond to older machine brands. It is infuriating, let me tell you. As someone who um, tests machine embroidery designs before they are zipped up and ready for customers, I can tell you it is the bane of my existence. Um, the colors that will populate for a Husqvarna Viking machine will not be the same colors that populate for, let's say, a baby lock machine. Um, going in and trying to make sure that those are correct for every single machine brand, make and model and year of machine is insanity. So always go by that color sequence chart PDF that comes with your design collection rather than what is showing on your machine screen because there may be slight variations. There are some machines that, you know, the, the machine manufacturers have to program every single thread color that is recognized by the machine. So since Poly Sparkle is a brand new uh, thread collection, the machine manufacturers just have not updated their machines to basically accept Poly Sparkle thread, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. When you get to a Poly Sparkle thread color, it may have just automatically substituted a color or a thread type that is available in that machine uh, brand library. Does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain, but um, I know, you know, Sulky communicates with the machine brands saying, we have a new thread release. Please include these in your thread libraries, especially where software is concerned, so that people can digitize designs um, using those thread colors. Um, but, you know, they have to get around to it when they're doing all of their software updates. You know, software is always changing and updating and getting better and better. Um, so it's honestly just a matter of basically getting all those machine brands on board and, and letting them know, you know, we've got this new thread. So I know with SVP, which is Singer Viking Fuff, um, we have communicated to them that there, that there are, you know, new sulky threads and we continue to do so with the other brands too. So um, honestly, it's just a matter of time. But in the meantime, these design collections that are created using these new threads and or new colors that may come onto the scene, the machine brands just don't know what those colors are yet. So um, in short, always refer to that uh, color chart PDF that comes with your machine um, and have that next to you, maybe even print it out 
and kind of tape it over your machine screen so that you don't get confused as to what thread color you're on and what it is supposed to be. I know that is really um, tedious uh, and I, I wish that we could have all those new colors um, and new thread types in everyone's machine, but that's the reason behind it um, and, and why it is so important to refer to those PDFs. I know a lot of the times I will get a design collection and I don't even, I don't even look at the threads uh, suggested. I will pick my own threads and kind of refer to that color thread chart and mix and match and do all kinds of crazy stuff. So <laughs> hopefully that makes sense, Pat. Okay. Debbie wants to know, why can't we comment on the computer, but it works on iPads? Um, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Debbie. Are you talking about the sewingonline.sulky.com platform? Um, if so, when you're commenting on the live feed during a webcast, you do need a Google account in order to participate with the live chat during a webcast or video cast. Um, so if you don't have a Google account, we have um, information on how to use an existing email to have a Google account um, or to create a new Google account so that you are able to comment on the live chat feed. Um, so if that's what you're talking about, let us know. Otherwise, email us at info at sulky.com. We'll try to get to the bottom of uh, that for you. Okay. Does the embroidery design come in the kit? Yes, you will get an entire collection. Um, let me show you the designs you will get with purchase of the video cast kit. You will get a single hexagon design that you can use to create your own hexi patterns. You will get a couple of different word designs or phrases. Be kind is one of them. You will get this seven hexagon design with the B as well as without the B. So that is another design. And again, these come in two different sizes for different hoop parameters. Meant to be is another one of the designs. And then a single B with or without the B trail. Okay, so this is a sampling of the designs you will receive with purchase of your kit. You will get a little slip of paper with your kit that has a dedicated URL on it, and you can go over there and grab up all your design files that you need to create lots of different projects. Okay, Donna says, can I get a sample of the new stabilizer in any other kits? I've had my Hexi kit for two weeks. Um, we were including the sample with all of the kits. So it might be in your um, bag and you just didn't notice it. It's a little nine by 10 square or nine by 10 rectangle of the perfect applique. So uh, let us know if, if you can't find that in your kit. Okay. Denise has been wanting to do bee-themed embroidery. Well, today is your chance. So we will see you at 2 o'clock this afternoon Eastern Time on our education platform, sewingonline.sulky.com. Joni, I'll see you there. We have two great door prizes we will be giving away during the event, too. So um, head on over and you could win. Um, they're really great prizes, I will say. Really, really great prizes. All right. Marnie says, interested to see the hexes in the hoop. So, um, yes, I think you will all love the webcast. So um, definitely register if you haven't already and spend your afternoon with Sulky. It's going to be a great, great time. All right. Judy says, oh, it was in the baggie with the design download card in the kit. So, yes, that's where you will find that sample of the brand new Sulky Perfect Applique Fusible Web. All right. And thank you, Nancy, for putting the um, registration link in the comments. That is super helpful. Vicki wants to know, what kind of bobbin thread do you use? So for this project, you can use Sulky Bobbin Thread. I would get a color that most corresponds with like the darkest thread in your group. So since there is the, that black bee, 
I would use the black sulky bobbin thread, but you can also use the same thread in the needle as you are using in the bobbin and switch out those thread colors when you switch out your threads on the top. And then, especially if you're doing something like a towel where you're going to see the wrong side of your design, um, that's super helpful because, you know, the back is going to look just as pretty as the front. Okay. Oh, and, and thank you, Darlene. I was not familiar with the Baby Lock Accomplish, but you're saying the Accomplish doesn't embroider. So yes, if um, for the person who was asking about using the industrial needle, um, you do need an embroidery machine to do the hexes in the hoop. It's all done in the hoop of your embroidery machine. Uh, so I guess that answers our question. Thank you, Darlene. I'm not familiar with every single machine brand, although I have sewn on every single machine brand, but they're coming out with new machines all the time. So there are a lot of different varieties within those brands that I have not had experience with. Okay. Is there a code that we need to use to purchase the kit today? No, there is not. Uh, there, uh, the kit is just on sale. So it's just at the sale price for $29.99 until midnight tonight. No code needed. You can just put it in your cart and you're good to go. Okay. Lots of comments have come in. Um, this must be when I said comment so that you're eligible for today's gift. <laughs> so I must be a little bit behind. Okay. Can you explain the platforms? I always have problems when registering and trying to buy kits. Okay. Thank you, Helen, for this. Great question. So sulky.com is our main website. That is where you can purchase kits, any products, where you can find our blog, where you can register for our newsletter so you, you can be informed when new things go on sale, all of that good stuff. Anytime you want to purchase a physical product, you will go to sulky.com. When you want to participate in one of our educational offerings, which are our webcasts, our video casts, our sewing sessions, our special events like our New Year's Eve party we did last year, anytime you want to interact with our education platform, that is sewingonline.sulky.com. These are two totally different websites. The reason for that is because we want to be able to offer you live streaming video, lots of different interactive virtual offerings. Um, we want you to be able to have your own library where all of that stuff is stored. So it basically has to be two websites. I know that that is not the best experience. You have to have two different logins. You have to log into the education site or when you're purchasing a product, like a kit, you have to log in to sulky.com. So two different things going on. It's very important that you note your different usernames and passwords that you use for the two different sites. We get a lot of people confused by this and I wish it could be a different way, but we really, really wanted to offer you state-of-the-art education. That is really one of the cornerstones of the Sulky mission is to make sure that you're having the best experience possible and using Sulky products to get you there. So education site is sewingonline.sulky.com. E-commerce site for purchasing physical products, threads, kits, stabilizers, all of that good stuff, sulky.com. So I hope that explains it better. Um, Helen, give me a thumbs up if if that makes it more clear. So I know I'm going back and forth between both of those all of the time. And then we're here on Facebook as well. So that's another website. <laughs> okay. Please do a webinar with the sticky wash away. I'm not the only one who needs to see this. All right. Thank you for the tip. Okay, bee themed shirt, another great idea for using this design collection. So, 
And yes, Zandra is a fantastic teacher. You will all love um, hearing from her. Sharon wants to know how many colors of bobbin thread does Sulky offer? So if you're going for just honestly, just bobbin thread, Sulky bobbin thread, we have white and black. And then we also have another neutral color, which is kind of like a tannish grayish. And that those are available in the pre pre wounds. Okay. So basically white, black. And then if you get pre round, I can't say it pre wounds you get a third color option. Okay. How much is the kit? The kit is $29.99 until midnight tonight. Retail price is $49.99. So you're saving 20 bucks um, and you're getting that embroidery design collection included. All right. Yes. Please explain the different platforms. I hear this all the time. So I, I hope that explains it. Um, and oh, thank you, Sulky. Four pre-wound colors, two spool colors. All right, so that's perfect. Um, also, I should mention, I like to use Sulky Poly Light in the bobbin. Um, Poly Light is a 60 weight thread and it comes in all the great colors that you can get in Poly Deco, which is 40 weight. So if you want your bobbin color to match and you want that lighter weight bobbin color or lighter weight bobbin thread, you can get Sulky Poly Light in the same shade as the Sulky Poly Deco and you can match those two and marry them for a perfectly balanced stitch out. So I like to use Poly Light a lot when I want the color on the bottom to match the color on the top. But like I said, in most cases, you can also just use the same 40 weight um, in the bobbin as well. When I'm working with Poly Sparkle, I like to use the 60 weight sulky bobbin thread um, or the Poly Light would work for that as well. But don't use the Poly Sparkle in the bobbin. It'll just be too thick and too difficult for your needle to pass through with all of those um, fill stitches and needle penetrations. You want to use a lighter weight bobbin uh, thread when you're working with a heavier weight top thread. Okay. Plus you don't need to sort of waste the, the sparkly thread on the wrong side of your project. Okay. All right. Thank you, Helen, for letting me know. So that's a little bit more <laughs> clear. And Sharon, the education website is sewingonline.sulky.com. And once you create an account, you can also bookmark that page so that you can easily go back to it in the future when you want to access your library, grab freebies for other webcasts. If you have participated in our legacy webinars, we call them, where we used a different platform for our webinars in the past and you're looking for that content, you'll have to add it to your library again because now it is on the new and improved education site and you will find everything you need for those past webinars, which we call legacy webinars. You can add all of those to your library as well so you can access all those freebies, find all those presentations, um, watch the videos of those, and um, it's just a great resource. All right, Barbara wants to know how much is shipping? Shipping is really going to differ based on basically where you're from, okay? So you can go in and calculate your shipping cost. You can also call our 800 number and say, what is the shipping going to cost um, for me for this? Now, if you do get a kit for $29.99 and you wanna get to that $60 free shipping, um, you can grab up some of these cutie things that I was talking about today, um, or you can grab up two kits. Um, there are lots of, obviously, lots of ways to fill your cart, especially with all of our great sales. 30% off of that Cutaway Plus Stabilizer, 30% off Rayon Thread, 30% off Poly Sparkle Thread. I mean, the sales abound. You will also find 20% off of the organ embroidery needles, so stock up on those, definitely. All right. I think I am all caught up. I may have missed some of the questions. Um, Norma says you passed up my question. Please let me know about my kit. Um, if that is your question, we'll have to contact you directly. Um, if you've had a kit that is incomplete or you haven't received it yet, 
Um, we'll have to address that separately. So reach out to us at info at sulky.com. We are always here to answer any of your questions regarding Sulky projects or products. And we are passionate about connecting with you and getting you the answers that you need. So please uh, reach out to us there so that we can look up your order number and all of that good stuff. So grab up those kits, guys. Make sure to register for the webcast. I will see you in about an hour. I'm going to get ready and make sure I have everything ready to go for you all. And I'm excited to welcome Xander today. I know you will love learning from her. So um, until then, I'll see you in about 50 minutes. Thank you all for joining me on So What Today. Be sure to sign, uh, excuse me, be sure to join me next week because I have a super special So What planned for Tuesday and look out on Facebook because I will actually be inviting all of you to it. That's how special it is. So look out for that and um, I will see you then. Thanks again for joining me today on another So What. Have a great day, everyone.